Hi ho and welcome to this short snippet of a Twello strategy for Twitter. Hi I'm Lance Schooler and this is a quick look at using Twello, the Twitter yellow pages, strategically when you're starting off your Twitter uh, campaign or you're just wanting to grow it more. In this case we're doing a study on a company called B2B Networking and they've only recently joined Twitter so let me go across to their Twitter page and let me give you an outline here so I just want to call up the time here because it's the 1st of August 2009 it's 11 19 p.m. just short of midnight and I wanted to do that because I want to show you uh, that this uh, B2B networking has recently posted their latest tweet where they've just registered with Twello, the Twitter yellow pages. Now let me give you a bit of background here. B2B networking have recently signed up and put their bio in. They've followed 404 uh, other people on Twitter and they have gained 158 people following them. Now I'm going to go right down to the bottom to their first tweet which was on the uh, 28th of July and it was at 3.24 p.m. in the afternoon just joined and then a day or so later on the 31st uh, which was actually yesterday at 6.52 p.m. they started to tweet in earnest and they tweeted a number of uh, types of tweets information retweets etc and that brings us up to the current time now there was a strategy in the way that they gained the uh, followers partly by whom they followed but I'll tell you more about that in an another video but this Twello one is what I really want to show you how you can even with a few followers such as 158 if you look strategically at Twello classifications you can do some amazing things. So let's come across to the profile. Here's the profile of B2B networking in the Twello profile. They've only just registered a few hours ago and they've got 16 categories which is a bit unusual because normally you can only have 10 but on occasions you can get 16 and that's caused through um, the application of when this is registered as you can see now uh, the actual bio from Twitter has been imported from Twitter into Twello there's no other profile that has been um, put into the Twello profile and you've got a bigger profile option here but the strategic thing here is that as well as the ones that have been imported B2B networking has placed themselves into a particular uh, classifications that are strategic now let me go across here and show you so the classifications in fact I what I might do is pull up this document here and this gives you a listing of the classifications that they have gone into and this enables them with even 158 followers to be classified and ranked on page one of that classification that means they're in the top 20 of that classification. So the classifications are, as you can see here, business trust, which is a subcategory of business services, they're 15th. Corporate event planning, they're 20th, just scraped in on page one. Story branding, part of branding and marketing, they've got, they're ranked fifth. For marketing sales, sales alignment subcategory, it's 17 their ninth for freebie trading which is part of free stuff which is a part of marketing and then their eighth in free items their 18th in effective presentation and their ranked 10 in employee recognition now let me just quickly show you that this is truly the case I'm going to click on up here and we're going to what I've loaded up in our uh, browser here is the eight classifications that they've been put into and I'm going to click on the first one which is business trust and you can see their 15th there I'm going to come back up and click on corporate event planning and their number 20 
they just scraped in. The next one is story branding, and they're number five in sales alignment. They're number 17, up to freebie trading. They're ranked at number nine, and we come up to free items, and they're number eight. And effective presentation, they're number 18. And last but not least, employee recognition, they're ranked 10th. Now that will enable them, even though these categories are fairly uh, specific niches and don't have a lot of traffic necessarily coming to them, but if people do come to them and they do click on the um, people on these pages, they'll progressively come down and click on the highest ranking and go down. Now just like on Google, to rank on page one and up the top in Google is great because in the search people will find you and the same applies here. So that's a strategy for you so that you can, if you can put yourself into a niche category like I've just shown you, then you are more likely to get clicks than you're on page 520 in a large classification. That's the tip. I hope you can use it. All the best. Bye for now and Godspeed.